So I just got these two units from the store, a $1 Uber and a $10,000 Uber. Apparently, the cheap one is called Masamune and the pricey one is called Megidora. So let's check the reviews on the $1 Uber first. Let's see... Ah, there we go. Now let's check the comment on this product. Uh, uh, I got this guy out of a rare draw once and again out of an 11 draw. Never use him. He sucks. Got this dude from Uberfest. I was like, heck it. And sold him to upgrade T. Kalisa and Sadako. Because I got this guy, never gonna 11 draw Vajiras ever again. Even Surfer Cat is better and he's a super rare. Fidget spinner, man. More like trash, man. Oh, that is. Oh, that is really bad. So from what I see, Masamuna seems to be just plainly horrible unit. I learned that here's the reason why he is bad. Despite having good DPS, his standing range is just lower than average which is pretty bad. And even though his attack rate is fast, his damage per hit is just really low. He may have two abilities but it's not even good. And his ability is only about half chance too so that's a big no no. Worst of all, you also got his fast speed, low health and 3 knockback count. I think from these review and from my research, I don't need to show an action on how bad the $1 Uber is. So instead, let's move on to the reviews of the $10,000 Uber Megidora. From what I see in the product page, it seems there's a pretty high demand for this unit. Well, I guess it's understandable considering his power. Here, look at these reasoning. First off, he's a shorter than usual ranger, but with a very solid DPS. Very worth as an attacker. And even though at first glance his damage might seem low, his attack rate is actually very fast so it compensates this very well. Then you also got his dual ability versus floatings, both at 50% so it's very consistent, especially with his attack rate. And not to mention that he has high speed and health, which means that he can tank more hits before getting knocked back with a total of 3 knockbacks from him. Looking at the list, the $1 Uber is just filled with negative issues while the $10,000 Uber is obviously superior and excels in every aspect. Just look at these two, it's so obvious that the $10,000 Uber is leagues better than the $1 Uber, right? Alright, I'll stop being sarcastic for now. As you can see, popular opinions for Megidora and Masamune is so far different. Yet, from the points I've shown, they just sound basically the same, aren't they? Stat check. They both have 425 range, 3 knockbacks, decent speed, fast attack rate with low damage per hit, and at nearly the exact same DPS, not to mention two non-guaranteed abilities each, which I'll get into detail later. The closest to valid reason on why you would say Megidora is better than Masamune is because they have obviously a health difference. But remember that they both have the same knockback count. This means that theoretically, unless enemies deal more than 27.2k damage per hit, which is rare might I add, this health difference won't make their survivability any different because as long as the enemy get into their range, they will lose one third of their health before they get knocked back and then standing in a safer position. So in the end, yes in certain situations, this can definitely benefit Megidora over Masamune but in general it's really not that much difference in terms of survivability. But looking at Masamune again, despite all these similarity in their stats, you also see that Masamune has 28 seconds faster cooldown and 1300 cost cheaper. This isn't something you can just brush off, 28 seconds is pretty notable. Now onto their abilities, I think this is the biggest reason why people would say Masamune is shit while Megidora isn't, but for me this is actually the reason why I personally think Masamune is just more desirable as an uber than Megidora. Now by no means am I saying that oh Masamune's ability is really good or anything. But imagine in a scenario where you're in mid late stories of legend and only owning both Masamune true form and Megidora true form as your ubers for comparison. You can see in the clips I've been playing in the background that these are some levels where you can use Masamune and have his ability work well right? Masamune is a very good and somewhat unique counter to Lenoir or just being a generally a proc unit where he doesn't exactly perform as well, but he performs something nevertheless. Another level I use him on is in Golden Guy where I use him as Pigeon Killer, Cappy Pusher, and Leboyne Damager, and he does work well here. This in some generalist stages would be where I would use Masamune and not Megidora, because ability aside, Masamune tends to work better than Megidora as they perform very similarly stat-wise while Masamune have better cooldown and price. On the other hand, we have Megidora with a 50% knockback and 50% slow on floating with good proc duration and just generally nice crowd control ability. But then realistically, where would you use Megidora over Masamune? The most obvious answer would be Bun Bun stages, right? Okay, well then let me ask you this, why not just use Sanzo? 
Minigi's knockback ability is a risky ability to have, especially with late SOL design. You have backline enemies that punishes you for knocking enemies back, and this is very apparent in Bun Bun levels. Currently, the only stage where his ability would actually be useful without any risk is No More Bad Dreams. But again, using Sanzo on that stage is basically already an instant win anyways, especially when paired with Cameraman, am I wrong? At this point, you might think, okay, but Lucas, you can't just put Sanzo and Cameraman into the equation. That would be unfair in comparing the two units, and that would be a completely fine way to think. But like I said earlier, I want to see this in a more realistic point of view, in a mid-late game scenario in which pretty much 95% of players would already have both Sanzo and Camera. Rather than just saying, oh yeah, Megi's ability looked better than Masamune, therefore Megidora is better, I want to ask where would you really see Megidora being used in a specific level, and not just theoretically. If a unit is theoretically good but is never actually used, then what's the appeal on that? This way of thinking fits the most on Ubers. Some rares and supers can get a pass on this way of thinking because say, or star restrictions or early game scenarios, but on Ubers this is something that you should really ask in order to determine the value of the unit or at least the appeal of the unit. Looking back at Masamune, the ability of being able to knock Lenoir back is a very helpful ability and isn't something that other non-Uber cats can perform as well as Masamune does. Controlling Cappies in Golden Guy was also a helpful ability that again, no other non-Uber unit can perform as well as Masamune does. You could argue Ururun, but for knocking them back, Masamune will still perform better in general because of higher proc chance. Obviously, I'm not saying that Megidora is like completely obsolete with Sanzo camera or anything. I would definitely give him credit for still being decent pre-true form because uh, Masamune pre-true form is actually really really bad and good in early game stages as early game stages are infested with Bun Bun stages. But that honestly doesn't sound like it's much help in Negidora's appeal, at least in my opinion. He does seem to work decently well in Trouble at the Mansion, as the everlasting little Bun Bun spam allows him to not overextend when he knocks enemies back. Not to mention that Megidora still have generalist qualities, great DPS, attack speed, and workable standing range. But again, Masamune also have this quality was being cheaper and having lower cooldown. So then, why does public opinion say that Megidora is one of the best, while Masamune is one of the worst? I don't know. Well, I can only infer it's because of their second form. Megidora is much more noticeably better. Not to mention, Megidora's true form came out 0.7 versions faster than Masamune's. So by the time Masamune's true form came out, everyone's probably still hyping at Megidora and they completely ignore Masamune. Nobody cared about Masamune's true form. Feels bad for the guy. So, what do you guys think? Are you not convinced on the power of Masamune? Do you think Miki's still way better and have arguments for it? Or do you perhaps already knew about this comparison before already? Let me know in the comments as usual. Now, before I go, I just wanted to say that I'm currently planning on making a Discord server. If it's already done by the time this video is up, I'll link the invite in the description, but if not, then please wait patiently as the server gets set up. Hopefully, this server can be pretty fun. But anyways, for now, I'll see you next time. Bye bye